Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with Team Euphoric and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a strength training program that I wrote myself using the training principles taught to me by Louis Simmons. This is the Sunday workout. It is going to be the dynamic effort chin-up workout. It's going to last six weeks long and with regard to the exercises, your A's and E's are going to be your other exercises or your warm-up and your cool-down. Your B is going to be your dynamic effort exercise. Your C is going to be a supplemental exercise. The D is going to be an accessory exercise and the F exercise is going to be a bonus exercise. Now we're going to get into the exercises themselves as well as the acute exercise variables. Your A's as stated are going to be your other exercises or your warm-up and for it we're going to be supersetting the dumbbell internal rotation with the shoulder abducted to 90 degrees with the high pulley face pulls. For both of them we're going to be doing two sets of 10 to 12 repetitions using 70% of your one repetition maximum, a 4020 tempo and resting 60 seconds in between each set. 70% intensity that means that's your 70% of your one repetition maximum. So whatever you can lift for one repetition you're going to pick 70% of that weight. And with regard to the tempo, for the dumbbell internal rotation with the shoulder abducted to 90 degrees, you're going to do this from a supine position, meaning you're laying down on your back, and you are going to lower the weight down to the ground for 4 seconds, and then you're going to internally rotate up to the sky for 2 seconds. Once you've completed that, you're going to move on to the high pulley face pulls, and for it, you are going to pull to the face for four se 2 seconds, and then you're going to release the weight for 4 seconds. Once both sets have been completed, then we are on to the B exercise, which is the dynamic effort exercise, and for it, we have the mid semi pronated pull up mid grip so roughly shoulder width apart and then semi pronated meaning you're going to turn your hot palms in just slightly and for it we're going to do one warm-up set of five repetitions using 25 percent of your one repetition maximum a 3-2 exo tempo and resting 30 seconds in between 3-2 exo that means you are going to explode up immediately as fast as you can then you're going to lower yourself down to the ground for three seconds and you're going to rest in that bottom position for two seconds then we're going to move on to the working sets. The working sets, we're going to be doing eight sets of three repetitions using 50% of your one repetition maximum, that same 3 2 exo tempo, and resting 30 seconds in between each set. Once all eight sets have been completed, then we're on to the C exercise, which is your supplemental exercise. And for it, we've got the close pronated grip, easy bar curls. For this one, we're doing six sets of 10 to 12 repetitions using 70% of your one repetition maximum, a 3 one one tempo, and resting 90 seconds in between each set. 3011, that means that we are going to be curling up for one second, we're going to pause at the top for one, and then we are going to let the weight come down for three seconds. Once all six sets have been completed, we're on to the D exercise, which is our accessory exercise, and for it, we have the bent over dumbbell shoulder extension. We're doing four sets of 12 to 15 repetitions, rest of 66% intensity, following a 3020 tempo, and resting 60 seconds in between each set. 3020, that means that we are going to extend the shoulder out for two seconds, and then we're gonna lower down toward the ground for three seconds. Once all four sets have been completed, then we're on to the E exercises, which is our other exercise or our cool down. It's going to mimic what we did in the warm up, so no need to go over any of that stuff. And then finally, we're going to finish off with the F exercise, which is going to be a bonus exercise. For your F exercise, you're either A, get to pick an exercise that you're really, really good at, or B, pick an exercise that you're not good at, but you would like to get better at. For me, I just installed a salmon ladder a few months ago in my facility, and it's really fun to use, so I'm going to be doing the salmon ladder. One set of as many repetitions as possible using just your body weight. And if you are using the salmon ladder, you've got to perform it explosively to be able to catch the rungs on the next clip. And once you finish that, no need to rest because that's it for the workout. Thanks for hanging around until the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like the video and comment down in the comment section as it would really help out with the algorithm. And also share this video so we can help get this information out to as many people as possible. And also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the icon in the bottom right hand corner and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos. For those of you interested in health optimization, you can check out the video in the top right corner where I discuss the six foundation principles. And for those of you interested in optimizing your performance, then consider becoming a member. It's only $5 per month and you get a ton of perks including exclusive access to this program design lecture series playlist above my head.